Dolly and Annie to the set. They have written one of the only Indigenous people's cookbooks that we have. Congratulations. Thank you. So the cookbooking or authoring is kind of new, but cooking is not new no. to you. You had a restaurant for 12 years. And it was called? The Lilligate Feast House. It Lilligate. was at 1724 Davy Street. And you cooked for 12 long years, you yeah. said to me. Yeah. So we also catered. And catering and cooking. And the, since then, it's been taken over by condo development. So the ladies have decided to preserve all of the native dishes, indigenous to their people, in a lovely book put out by Arsenal. So I'm going to let you talk about your book and what you're going to do today. Um, we're making a simple lunch uh, sandwich, okay. and it's called a crab and feta sandwich. <laughs> now, you know yeah. the first thing I'm going to say to you, feta is not indigenous. It's a little bit Greek. So okay. is it that you're trying to modernize the recipes a tiny bit? Yeah, we, we kind of brought uh, all our great ingredients that are indigenous to the Pacific West Coast, like the, uh, the crab. We're bringing it up to date, and we're using all the ingredients that we can find in the supermarkets. Okay, so, so what do we need to start with this dish this morning? Um, well, we start off with the crab, the Dutch Dungeness crab. And then we have the uh, corn kernels. Okay. And uh, celery. And, yeah, diced. And the uh, onions. And uh, feta. And we put a little bit of mayonnaise to hold everything together. This is lovely. So was this served at the restaurant? Uh, this one wasn't, but we use it in our catering sometimes. And uh, garlic, uh, dill weed, just for a little bit of color, and pepper. And then we just want to mix that all together. Okay, so it's like a nice good sandwich spread and enough mayo to just make it stick. Yeah, it Okay. Good. Okay, so what we want to do is just get that all mixed up. And then I already put a little bit of butter on the bread. Yes. And so all we want to do is uh, scoop this onto the there. filling in. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Make sure it stays. Put a little bit of cheese on there. Put the other part on. And, and then buttered on both sides, so you so don't, have you to don't put oil on. There. Okay, so we're just gonna make kind of like a grilled cheese, but not a grilled cheese, right? Yeah. And grilled then, crab yeah. and cheese. Yeah. And so all you do after. You, I put all those together, you just put that on there. And now in the book you really you really are ethnic in blackberry vinegar and everything that is rhubarb, all the things that grow here, butternut squash, salmon's a big one of course. I yeah. mean if, if you're not cooking salmon on the west coast you simply are not cooking. Now did you did you enjoy the restaurant portion? Oh uh, I did, yeah. We got to meet people from all over the world and they, they really enjoyed having something different because we had the only native restaurant in North America. So. I remember it well. Yeah, it was the, uh, the Quillicum before us and then the Makamak, but we always stuck to uh, the same menu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the biggest selling menu for people that came from the East Coast or the United States was? Uh, the elk, the marinated elk. Elk? Yeah. Oh, I'm shocked. Yeah. I thought it would have like buffalo or, or well, salmon. Buffalo yeah. was good, yeah. Buffalo and salmon, they were, they come in second. <laughs> and we had a big feast platter and we cooked over a uh, alder grilled, um, alder grilled wood burning stove. So everything absorbed the flavor. Of course, of just yeah. like in, in the way that you cooked, your ancestors cooked, and, and they still do cook. Yeah. You live in Port Alberni? Port Alberni. Port Alberni. They've come all this way to talk about their feasts, their all the native cookery. It is a great read only because it really puts us in touch with how you should eat. And, and now that we're wanting to eat a little bit closer to home with all the things that we grow here, your people were the ones that had that together and you've put it all down. Congratulations on a good job. Thank you. It is um, where people feast and um, they've written a great book. Arsenal puts it out and it's available everywhere.